guys, welcome back to the channel. It's time to talk spring favorites now that we're officially in the new season. So I've got a bunch of new things I wanted to tell you about, some new to me beauty products, a couple of clothing items, a bunch of books, and even a new favorite piece of jewelry. So let's start with beauty. About a year ago, I set up an appointment with a dermatologist here in the area just to make sure that everything was going okay. I had a full skin screen, everything turned out okay. Um, but she did give me a ton of really good advice about moisturizing. One thing that she suggested was this Cetaphil moisturizing cream. Truth be told, it sat in my bathroom cabinet for about six months while I was finishing up another tub of body lotion, but I just started using this in the new year and I don't think I'm going to be able to use anything else. One thing I've found with full body moisturizing is that the lotion takes a really long time to absorb. When I started using this, it almost instantly absorbs unlike anything I've ever experienced. So this has made my routine so much faster and I just couldn't recommend it enough. Plus it helps with moisturizing my skin too. In the same vein of skincare, I wanted to mention this toner from Edible Beauty. It's their Citrus Rhapsody Toner Mist. This mist is great. You just spritz it right on your face and it's much faster than having to rub something in with a cotton swab or something like that. So it smells really good. It's just really refreshing. So I usually do this right after I do the full body moisturizing with the Cetaphil lotion. So this and then the toner on my face is just a great primer and a great way to start my routine for makeup. I've also really been loving this moisturizing tint SPF 30 from Glow. Now that we're heading into the warmer months and spending more time outside, it's really important to prioritize SPF. So I love that this is SPF 30. It's a great primer to put underneath my makeup. It's just another one of those really easy things to work into my routine. So I barely have to think about it. So ever since high school, I've been a loyalist to the Bare Minerals brand, but if you've ever purchased from them, you know they're a little bit on the pricey side. So I tend to like to buy strategic pieces from the collection instead of the full lineup. So things like the foundation and concealer and then I sort of work in those more budget-friendly options for things like finishing powder blush Eyeliner stuff like that just so I can stay within budget especially since now that we're in spring I'd much rather be spending that money on going to the winery or at the beach things like that So one of my favorite swaps recently is this finishing powder from covergirl I have it in the translucent fair shade and I'm wearing it today It's just a great way to set my makeup and I also kind of love that it comes with this poof um, I'm not sure what the right terminology is for this, but basically the way I use this is I give it a little shake to get the powder up on the poof, and then I just blot it on certain areas of my face, and then I use my brush, my regular makeup brush, to just sort of work it in, and it's just the perfect finishing touch and the last step for my makeup routine. Now that it's spring and I'm headed out more often to things like events and going out to dinner, things like that, just to enjoy the nice weather, um, I've been on the hunt for a spring lipstick, and this one is my new favorite. It's from Glossier. It's called Like. I'm wearing it today, and I wouldn't say honestly that it has the most staying power in the world, but it's super easy to apply. You really don't even need a mirror. Um, you can sort of build it out so that you can get more of a rich color. But I will definitely be rebuying this all spring and summer. The last thing I wanted to talk about in terms of beauty is this seven hair care conditioner. I also have the shampoo, but I just grabbed the conditioner to show you guys. I don't know what it is about winter, but every season, no matter what, my hair always gets really dry and lots of split ends. So this has been really awesome for nourishing and moisturizing my hair so it looks a lot healthier feels a lot healthier and I just can't recommend it enough. Moving on to clothing, I wanted to mention a new to me pair of jeans. These are from Old Navy and I've never purchased them from Old Navy before. I probably wouldn't have recommended it before, but I tried it on a whim. I saw somebody on Instagram who I follow and she mentioned getting a pair of jeans there and loving them. And I was like, well, I'll give it a shot because they're like $32. And I'm used to buying jeans from Madewell for like $132. So I was like, well, it can't hurt. And they're the ones I grab every day now. I got the high rise rock star jeans with a little bit of distressing around the knees. And so far it's been holding up really well. Like I mentioned, I used to buy jeans from Madewell and the distressed jeans that I bought from them have completely deteriorated around the knees. And of course I put them through the ringer. I mean, I'm up and down working on craft projects and painting and what have you. So I definitely put them through the ringer, but these have held up so well and I wear them practically every day. So I I can't wait to get more versions. I think the Rockstar jeans come in a bunch of different styles, more clean cut, so I'm excited to try some others, especially at that budget. And they're super cute layered with a spray 
spring top like this one. I actually wanted to mention this in my favorites video today, but I got it from Loft at their outlet and I'm not sure if they even carry it online. I've looked everywhere. I will do my best to find a link, but if not, try your Loft outlet because they have lots of really cute spring pieces in right now. But yeah, back to the jeans. These are a huge favorite of mine for spring. I would definitely recommend trying them out, especially if you've been throwing money at designer jeans for the last few years. These are a great staple and fit well within your spring budget. Another favorite for my spring wardrobe are these earrings. My friend Sarah of Sarah Hearts, the blog, she just released a whole new line of made in the US earrings and I am obsessed with these. They are mirrored gold and she's got all sorts of different patterns and designs. I believe this one comes in a couple of different colors too. Um, so I'll, obviously I'll be sure to link them down below, but I have been wearing these almost every single day and just love them. And it's so fun to follow along with Sarah. And if you love color and bright crafts, she's a girl for you. I will definitely link to her below because her blog itself is so much fun and her earrings are just so cute. I'm so excited for her launch. To round out my collection of spring favorites, I wanted to talk about books. I have quite a stack here, so I will jump right into it. The first one is Lemons Are a Girl's Best Friend by Janet Hayward. This is such a great book for spring inspiration right now as we are moving more towards those citrusy flavors. So this is packed with 60 superfood recipes to look and feel your best and they're not lying. It's packed with information from pineapple foot scrubs to recipes for scrumptious sweet potato smash, papaya avocado, and cucumber salad. There's just tons of information in this book. So yeah, this is a really, really fun book. I think you're gonna love it for spring and maybe even especially summer. So definitely pick this one up. Speaking of summer, I am actually headed off to the beach in early May. So I've been collecting a bunch of novels to pack away in my suitcase for our trip. And one at the top of my list is this book by Christy Woodson Harvey. It's called The Secret to Southern Charm. This is actually an advanced copy that Christy very sweetly sent me, but I do believe it's out now so you can grab it for your own vacation. Before you do though, make sure to order Slightly South of Simple, which is the first book in this series. It features a trio of sisters and their mother and documents what it's like to be a family and all the drama and love that goes with it. So I would definitely recommend this book. It's a great coastal read and perfect for your spring break or your summer vacation. I don't know about you guys, but for whatever reason, this time of year, I am all about spring cleaning. So I bought myself this book as a treat. It's called The Organized Home from the Remodelista. And it's just a really beautiful book. Another one of those that I would easily leave out on my coffee table, but it just comes packed with tons of ideas in terms of how to organize, different storage solutions, and lots and lots of pretty pictures to inspire you. Everything from a well-organized console sink to kitchen storage solutions that work well in the bathroom too. So this is a great book if you're craving organization in your home this spring. I've got two cookbooks that I wanted to make sure I mention before I wrap things up. The first one is called Chloe Flavor, and this is one of those cookbooks where every single recipe looks amazing. And the cool thing about this book is that it's all vegan. We are not vegan. My husband and I are not vegan, but we love the idea of adapting these recipes to include some meat if we feel like it. Although every now and again, it is kind of fun to eat vegetarian or vegan meals. So yeah, it's just a really great book, especially if you're looking to add some new things to your spring menu planning. Another favorite spring cookbook that we've been reaching for over and over again is this one called Eat a Little Better. And it is also full of recipes that we can't wait to try. Things like red slaw with warm bacon dressing, this braised chicken with orange and olives, and these pork chops with tomato corn relish. And on top of all the recipes, he also includes a bunch of kitchen hacks and sustainability tips for eating better this spring. So if you're looking to add some new things to your dinner table this season, this is the book for you. So that's it for my spring favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. In case you missed the blog post, I am currently in the midst of a spring challenge to shop small more often. So I am working to support our local businesses and put our money where it matters. So if you wanna join me in that, I will be sure to leave a blog post link down below so you can check it out. That's it from me, so I will see you guys in my next video.